Hey folks, exercise 13 is about making a character jump across a gap. So let's start with some reference footage and break down the action in a sequence of images. Can you spot the principle of animation? So in this segment, I'm gonna select the best poses with strong silhouettes to help inspire my animation. I'm going to identify the distance between each platform and then I'll leave a dot at the pelvis of each of those extreme poses. After I clean things up a little bit, you can see that we have a strong case for the principle of animation, arcs. No matter what you decide to animate, I really think this one's going to be a slam dunk because all you have to do is to animate a character in the direction of a curve as it moves across the screen. Here's some footage of the layout drawing being built with marks as indications for drawing locations. I plan to animate my character on twos and I want to keep a reasonable distance between each pose. Here's the first round of footage for determining the timing and the weight. Notice that I didn't spend any time drawing arms and legs until I was pleased with the overall weight and the timing and the movement. Later I'll go back and I'll do a rough pass with those limbs and if I'm happy with that I'll go back and I'll do a tie down where it's a little bit closer to the model and the design of the character that I want. As we end this video, my big suggestions are to work in separate passes and to really lean into those principles of animation. These processes and tools, I really think they're going to help you out. They're pretty solid. There's a reason they've been around for many, many years. Do me a favor, go give this a shot. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.